Minecraft is a game your students are probably already familiar with, but it can also be a powerful vehicle for learning. Many teachers have recognized the creative possibilities the game can offer learning, and so Minecraft Education Edition brings this platform to the classroom. Teachers and students can take advantage of the high interest, open world canvas to bring learning to life. Here are five ways to use Minecraft in the classroom. Create a movie set. Whether you want students to create movie trailers for a book, commercials to practice persuasive writing, or videos for other learning purposes, Minecraft can be used as a movie set with no walls. Students in small groups can outline their scenes, build their sets, and then split themselves into actors and cameras. The students acting as cameras can record their screens as they watch the actors play out the scene. These videos can then be edited to reflect the purpose of the activity, and shared with the rest of the class and beyond. This is a powerful way to promote collaboration, deepen engagement with an authentic audience, and to demonstrate learning in a creative way. Create vocabulary dioramas. Vocabulary development is a key aspect of learning a new topic or concept, and Minecraft offers a unique space to literally build that vocabulary knowledge. Students can review a term and then jump into Minecraft to represent it in some way. If a student needs to represent the word generosity, they might use two NPCs, non-player characters, to create a dialogue where one offers to help the other. If a student needed to represent the word adrenaline, they might create a roller coaster with signs posted along the way that explain or label the experience. Challenging students to take what is available to them in Minecraft and make meaning out of a vocabulary term engages a number of thinking skills and helps them map a path to that word and its meaning that they can recall later in a lesson or unit. To make this a more collaborative experience, the teacher might assign each student a word to represent, all within the same world, and then have them explore what the other students created. If each student has a list of words, it could be turned into a game where they guess which words the other students built. They could then provide each other constructive feedback to help them revise this creation or use as tips for later builds. Create a scavenger hunt. A little mystery is a powerful way to engage students and hook them into the learning. Minecraft is an excellent space to develop scavenger hunts, digital escape rooms, treasure maps, and more. Create and fill a world with clues about a story that the class will be reading or NPCs who are working through scenarios that are important to the lesson. Or use Minecraft coordinates to create a scavenger hunt and hide those coordinates in materials outside of Minecraft. Incorporating mystery in any way, big or small, will contribute to increased student engagement. It is human nature to want to close open loops, and placing those open loops in front of your students encourages them to close them by making sense of the mysterious information in the context of your learning goals. For example, if the learning goal is for students to use evidence to craft an effective argument, you might create a whodunit world where students need to investigate. That world might be filled with NPCs that students can interview or books and pictures that they can discover as evidence. They can compile a list of suspects, organize the evidence they discover, and use it to write a formal accusation. Keep in mind that the development of these worlds doesn't have to fall to the teacher alone. Creating a scavenger hunt, escape room, or whodunit map can be an engaging end of unit project for a student or group of students that can then be used with another class, another school, or beyond. These worlds can also be used year after year to reduce the heavy lifting for the teacher and connect the students to a more authentic audience. Create a living portfolio. One unique feature in Minecraft that opens up many possibilities is that NPCs can be equipped with buttons that either perform commands in Minecraft, like teleporting the player somewhere, or that link to outside resources, like articles and videos. Of the many possibilities this feature opens up, one of the more intriguing is the idea of a living portfolio. Students can use Minecraft as a space to build and link all their learning. If they create a presentation or video, they can build a space for it in Minecraft. If they research a question or idea, they can bring that research into Minecraft in some way. 
a student might create a figurative language house with rooms for each example and NPCs in each room that link out to videos explaining the terms or teleport them to an example of figurative language elsewhere on the world. Rather than starting a document and using a table to organize their learning artifacts, students can build a world around them, giving each one a more meaningful context and space to be understood. At the end of a unit, grading period, or school year, the student has a world full of their learning that they can share for others to explore. For those who don't have access to Minecraft, a student might make a video tour of their world, explaining the choices they made along the way. This is an excellent way to reflect on their learning and growth throughout the learning process. On the flip side, this linking feature can be used by teachers to provide options for students to explore. If students are learning about habitats, teachers can embed NPCs with links to videos and articles about ocean life next to a body of water or NPCs with links to desert life in a sandy area. Create scenarios for students to simulate. Social-emotional learning is critically important to a student's success, giving them the skills to navigate situations relating to self and others in school and beyond. However, it's often difficult to integrate this skill development with content-driven endeavors. Minecraft's ability to imitate life in so many ways makes it a perfect place to bring SEL and academic skill development together. One of the most powerful ways to engage students is to empower them to be autonomous, asking them to make meaningful choices. Minecraft offers a safe space to simulate the situations that require well-developed SEL skills to navigate. A quick way to build this choose-your-own-adventure approach is to take advantage of NPCs, teleportation, and buttons. Students can approach NPCs that offer them different choices in a given situation, like choosing to talk to an adult or confront a bully, and have each choice teleport them to a different place where they can see their choices playing out. In this way, students can get feedback on their choices immediately and use that feedback to inform their next choice. Teachers might also give students a scenario outside of Minecraft and ask them to build a solution for it. For example, students might be asked to build a house for a family with unique needs and interests. This example can be even more authentic if the students survey real families to establish the parameters. These are just a few creative approaches to Minecraft in the classroom. All of these ideas can be built collaboratively, making group work feel more authentic and relevant. It can also be easily shared, whether students take pictures from within the worlds, record videos, or download and share the worlds themselves for others to explore.